The Libyan government and local leaders in Benghazi came to an agreement September 22nd that a number of local militia brigades would come under control of the National Army. Military troops and police units have since moved into several of the bases in Benghazi. This deal has given the Tripoli-based central government permission to establish a military presence in Benghazi, a first step to securing control over Libya's eastern region and a key development in Libya's political transition. Since the September 11th killing of U.S. Ambassador Christopher Stevens, large-scale protests against Islamist militant groups have been held in Benghazi. This local opposition and the permission of local leaders for the National Army to have an increased presence are promising signs that the latest moves could improve the security environment. While spontaneous outbreaks of violence often take place in Benghazi, there have also been some distinct patterns of attacks. One trend is a well-planned assassination campaign that has reportedly killed at least 14 former Gaddafi intelligence and military officials. Another trend is a series of pot-shot-style attacks against Western facilities beginning in May that culminated in the most recent attack against the United States Diplomatic Office on September 11th. The recent attack, however, has increased Western attention on security issues in eastern Libya. This will force Tripoli to ramp up its efforts there with a greater sense of urgency. Libya is in the midst of an uncertain political transition. It completed elections in July, has assembled a parliamentary body, and recently elected a prime minister. So far, the political transition appears to be going according to plan, but the greatest obstacles are yet to come. Libya still has to write a constitution, a process that will bring ideological and administrative conflicts back to the fore. The September 11th attack on the U.S. diplomatic office and the following military campaign is addressing Libya's most immediate security concerns. They must immediately contain the impact of attacks from marginalized Islamist militant groups that undermine local and central authority. These attacks escalate to a higher level when they threaten key Western partners and darken the investment climate. This will also present an opportunity for the government to assert itself in the East and prove its commitment to a U.S. partnership. But when the shared enemy fades and foreign pressure relaxes, the question remains of how Libya will mediate its internal differences in the long-term political transition.